one of the subjects we cover here at the rebel.media that most other media ignore is the increasing politicization and radicalization of Canada's judges. What I mean by that is not just radical rulings, but rulings where the judges clearly don't want to just interpret or implement the law, they want to write the law. And they don't want to just stick to the law, they want to move into politics. I have no problem with a judge quitting the courts and running for public office. I think that's a healthy thing. But these judges don't want to do that. And unfortunately, this has reached into the highest heights of our courts, namely the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Canada herself, Beverly McLaughlin. In a recent speech in Toronto, she accused the entire country, not just individuals, but she accused Canada as a sovereign nation of having committed, quote, cultural genocide. Now, of course, looking over Canada's past over the centuries, there have been individual atrocities committed against Aboriginals, of course. But instead of saying that, she said that Canada itself is guilty of cultural genocide. Genocide is usually a word referred to mass exterminations, like the Nazi genocide of Jews, which killed six million, like the Turkish Muslim genocide of Armenian Christians, which killed millions, like even Stalin's genocide of Ukrainians, a deliberate massacre of millions through forced starvation. That's what genocide means. We did not have a genocide of Canadian Aboriginals, thank God. In fact, the Canadian Aboriginal population has never been higher, of over one million people. It's factually false. It's factually false that we even had a cultural genocide. Put aside the extremism of her views, though. Here's my point. How can Beverly McLaughlin ever again sit in judgment of a case involving Aboriginal issues? She has tried, convicted, and sentenced the Canadian sovereign country to guilt of genocide. She's just done it. No hearing, no argument. She's just made up her mind. And she's delivered it in a stump speech, politician style. Hey, that's fine for politicians. Paul Martin has that same crackpot idea too. He's welcome to have it. But Paul Martin doesn't then pretend he's objective and pretend that he'll give both sides of the story a hearing in court. How can any lawyer appear before Beverly McLaughlin and believe that their arguments will be heard with an open and fresh mind? It simply can't be done. This is a window into the thinking of Beverly McLaughlin, who has been behind some radical rulings involving Aboriginal land claims in the past. I don't propose that we crack those open, but going forward, you simply can't trust Beverly McLaughlin to be a fair-minded judge. Beverly McLaughlin is a smart lady with a strong point of view. Let her quit and run for public office, like everyone else who gives political speeches. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.